Hi, this is Fred with uh, Quality One Engravers, and what we're going to do right now is to set up some font libraries uh, for Engrave Lab. I've opened uh, version 7, and the first thing I'm going to do is click on the text tool, and I go to Text Compose, which is also Control F7. Click anywhere on the screen to get the vertical line, and then go up to the blue letter F that says Select Font, but it really is Font Detective this dialog box will open up and the first thing we want to do is you can look down and here's all your different fonts that are set up font libraries that are set up but we want to go over here to options and we want to add a group and the group name let's start off with Q1E engraving fonts you can name it virtually anything that you want and I'm gonna start I always just start with it initially empty click on OK then go to options and go to edit group and all your fonts will be listed here A to Z I'm gonna uh, click on any font and touch the letter Q on the keyboard and that brings up all my Q and E fonts now if you noticed I highlighted the very first Q it's easier just to press the letter Q and I'm gonna hold down the shift key arrow down and get all the Q and E fonts all the fonts that I've created I started with the letters Q and E and then click on add and then just say OK here's a real important thing to do is to click on the word select and now when I use this drop down there's all fonts which has hundreds or thousands of fonts in it and then there's all my Q and E fonts which now has 40 or 50 of them in there makes it much more manageable but let's say that we want to make something even a little more specific click on the text tool text compose again, again the blue font detective and options add another group again initially empty and then this might be used daily so this would be a set of fonts that you are typically going to use on, on virtually all of your jobs. Now again, once it's used daily, it has nothing in there. So now I have to go back to options and I have to edit this group. Obviously, you can add another group, you can delete this group and uh, edit a group. One thing that I found is when you delete a group, it stays there until you shut down the software and restart it. And then, and then it's deleted. So I'm going to edit this group again I'm gonna click on the letter Q and then I'm gonna add this one uh, block one line and maybe a Gaudi regular is something that you use all the time maybe a Roman four line for trophy people um, if you do a lot of uh, sign work you might be using uh, Nimbus is another one that's two line is real nice and maybe you use this normal block 2x and then just say OK. And again, you have to click on this little select. And now in this drop down, you'll see that you have, of course, your all fonts. These are fonts that are being currently utilized. You have your all fonts, your Q&E fonts, and then only just the fonts that you typically use. So if I double click on Gaudi, now. and control K alt K and let me go ahead and center it center it and center it on the page okay and basically that's how you set up your fonts again if you want to change this font you double click on let me do that again I'm gonna double click on the baseline I can hold the shift key down and arrow over I could have hit the N key and done the same thing and now I come up here and I want to change this font now to my use daily and I want it to be Roman four line I double click and now it's in Roman four line if I want to double click on this and swipe through it and I can click on the down arrow to change the font height back up and forth okay